Roger. The last thing I remember in my car was just sitting at the light, just thinking how badly I wanted to be home. Went on a green light, somebody didn't stop on a red light, I went right into the driver's side of my car. So my main injury was a shattered pelvis. You can see it in my x-rays that there's just a bunch of mess of bone. I had really 10 surgeries over the course of nine months. I had around 150 stitches and staples total. I had 15 screws in my body. They were told that everything was a question, really. It was first whether I was gonna be able to survive, and then the second question was, well, is she going to be able to walk again? And that one was a question for a long time. I was in a wheelchair for three months after being in the hospital. Once it started being more real and I was able to do some PT in the hospital, I was like, oh, it's going to be hard. And then I was able to walk or stand up and walk with a walker, and that was huge. That was a big, exciting day. Just a determination thing of I'm not going to be dependent on a walker for my whole life. I'm not gonna be dependent on a cane for my whole life, so what do I need to do to not be that? I started running at first just for therapy and then I got into the competitive side of it. I finished my first marathon in February of this year, so that's almost five years exactly from the accident. So I usually blame my boyfriend Will for this, <laughs> for getting into cycling. Now we've been cycling more together and separately and I've really come to love the sport. So I actually noticed while we were working out um, closer to the summertime, it was hot, she was wearing shorts and I saw scars on her leg and asked her about it. And she had hinted at recoveries and injuries in the past. And when she explained her story and what all she had been through and the recovery effort that had ensued, I was just absolutely blown away. And cycling is completely new to me. It's a new challenge. It's a new thing to overcome. And it's been a fun challenge for me. Working out with her, racing with her, spending time with her in general is inspiring every day. I feel like I've faced some challenges in my life and you know, races seem hard or a work week seems hard. And it all pales in comparison to where she was and where she's at now. And that's just such an impressive story that uh, it's inspiring and it's humbling. As somebody who has run marathons, who wakes up at 5 a.m. to run, who comes out here and rides 15 miles and goes to work limping. <laughs> and my answer is usually because I can. That's kind of become my mantra. It's become my motto, especially since my accident. It's given me a second chance. So why would I waste that? <laughs>